What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today, what we're going to be doing, I just want to show you guys a little bit of tips, you know, when you guys are growing the ponds. I know you guys can really relate to these pond videos, so I want to try my hardest, you know, to teach you guys some things about these ponds, teach you guys some things about how to catch some more fish on these ponds. But today in this video, what I want to show you guys is some easy way to catch fish in ponds. Say, you, say you've been going out to these ponds, you haven't really been catching many fish. Well, I'm going to show you some baits today and some tips on how to rig them, um, how to fish them, what type of rod and really you should use, everything so you can have a successful day. So guys, the bait I'm going to be using today is the Swimming Dinger by Yum. It's pretty much a Yum Dinger. What a Yum Dinger is, it's pretty much like a Senko. Um, you know, that's just really simple. You can also use a finesse worm, um, really anything, but you're going to rig it weightless. Most of these ponds are very shallow, and um, when these ponds are all shallow and everything, most of these ponds have a lot of nasty stuff on the bottom. So why I'm rigging it weightless is so it doesn't get down, you know if I was on a normal shaky head or a Texas rig, it'd be digging down in all that nasty gook in the bottom and um, it'd be getting caught up. So best way to fish this worm is, you know, fish it weightless. Um, so it's not gonna get all that stuff on there, it's gonna slowly sink, it's a really subtle approach that's gonna really trigger those fish. Rigging this bait, you know, it's just simple as this, you know, going right through the head. Breaking it off, sliding it up the hook. Like that. It's as simple as that. It's, very, it's weedless. You can also bury the hook. Just like that. That's perfect. This one actually has a little paddle tail on it, so it's going to have a little bit of movement. When I hop the bait, the tail's going to be flapping. Let's go ahead and start fishing. First cast out there, guys. Let it slowly sink all the way to the bottom. You can just watch your line. That's the best way to do it, is just watch your line. And um, the best thing about fishing this bait weightless and fishing like a Senko weightless or a, you know, finesse worm is, you know, you can pretty much watch the fish bite on your line. You don't even really have to feel it. You don't have to see them bite it. You just kind of watch your line and, you know, you can watch your line sink or all of a sudden you'll kind of see that the fish picks it up just because your line starts moving. And, you know, that's one reason I really like, you know, this rig and fishing it weightless and there's a lot of good benefits about fishing it this way and it's such a productive way to catch a lot of fish and very easy but i'm just watching my line right here and uh i watch for any movement say my line kind of ticks or anything or it starts to run out kind of like that but there's nothing on it if it starts to run out then uh this means there's probably a fish on it he's got it oh he just slammered that thing he grabbed it and took off to the right right on the edge of that grass What's really good about this bait right here is it's got that little paddle tail on it. So what I'll do is I'll throw it up in the grass. I'll kind of reel it out where it's kind of like running at the top of the water. Right when I get to the edge of the grass line, I'll let it sink and drop down. And usually as fish sit on the edge of that grass line, if not in the middle, they'll kind of follow it out. Just kind of pop it a little bit, let it sink. Very slow. You know, these fish don't really hesitate. There's a fish in here watching. I can probably get them to bite just how subtle this presentation is. Actually, just swim off. Where did he go? Yep, he's right there. Watch, he's gonna go after it right away. Look at him. Oh, there's two of them right there. They're tiny, but I'm just, I just wanna show you guys how perfect this presentation is and they just can't, can't resist it. Just like that. <laughs> he grabbed it, he's just really tiny. He didn't get it all the way. Little tiny guy. <laughs> there he is. First fish, nothing big at all, but he will do. Pretty little fish, nothing, nothing big whatsoever, but got that guy, a little pretty fish. Nothing wrong with that one, very healthy. You can actually see on his tail where uh, bigger fish has actually bit onto him and actually tried to eat him. So you know there's actually some bigger fish in this pond. God, that bait's so light. Oh, here he is. 
That is a better one. Wow. That's a good fish. What's wrong with this one? He actually didn't even get a chance to fight. I just threw him right up on the bank. These guys. Pretty little guy. Nothing really big, but, you know, pretty fish. Better than the last one. Nothing wrong with catching these guys. Pretty little fish. Barely lifted up, Mom. No need to jack that fish. <laughs> I've never seen fish so hyper in my life at any pond I've ever been to. Look at this. We're right in the top of his mouth. Little tiny guy. You knew. That's a better one, dude. That is not bad at all. It's the best one yet. Dang. Look at that, guys. It's a pretty fish. Yeah, let's see if we can maybe get a thumbnail. Beautiful fish. These pond fish do not care. We need to go after them. A ton of guy. So, guys, you know, I literally caught a ton of fish on this thing. I only have a few of them, I don't have many left. And so, you know, I was originally just weightless rigging it, and um, I'm just kind of lipping it right here. It's kind of like a drop shot, but not really a drop shot. And I saw I just caught that fish, literally as simple as that. You know, it, should, it, it saved money. You know, you don't have to use as many baits, and it's an effective way to catch some fish still. Because uh, let's see if I can catch one right here just to show you guys. He grabbed it right when I threw it in there. I should have saw how I rigged that thing and he bit it. These pond fish do not care what you throw it. So guys, when fishing this bait, a lot of the times these fishers are going to come up and look at it and they won't really eat it. So you know, a big trick that no one really does, and I know it just seems super stupid, but it's really effective. So I'll throw, I'll throw my worm out there, I'll kind of let it sink, and, you know, I could be lifting up, but a lot of the times I kind of tap my rod, and what it's going to do is going to make that bait just kind of sit there and jump. So if this fish is sitting there just kind of staring at it, and it'll stare at it for a second, then it starts, you know, to jump like that, and then it's going to go attack it. You know, it's going to trigger this fish to really eat it. I'm not going to lie about how to heart attack right there. <laughs> I know this is an instructional video where it's more professionalized, but that's staying in there. It just tapping your rod, a little bit of movement, it's going to trigger this fish by the way. These fish are so, so amazing in this lake. They, they're so healthy and honestly, I haven't found a pond or a lake where fish are just this healthy and everything about them is just awesome. If there's some big ones in here, it would definitely be one of the best ponds out there. Thank 
you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy these tip and technique videos, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, these pond fishing videos. If you want to see more of these, be sure to let me know below. You know, leave a comment below. Hit the like button. If you guys haven't subscribed already, already hit the subscribe button. There's also a bell right next to the subscribe button that you should click because it's send you notifications when I upload a new video. But thank you guys so much for watching. More tip videos coming soon if you guys enjoy these. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Honestly, I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. Day -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nails say I say it ain't no way. I ain't never listen, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.